Syria is the most dangerous place in the world to be a common civilian. Millions of people need urgent help. Go. There are over 16 million people in need of assistance inside and outside Syria. There are nearly 4 million people which have fled Syria. There are five big host countries, one of which is Turkey that holds just under 2 million refugees. Another is Lebanon which holds just over a million. Jordan is another which holds just over 600,000. More than 11 million people have died and have been forced to leave their homes. Okay. Four years ago, peaceful protests that were inspired by the Arab Spring started. This has turned into the world's largest crisis, in, during which over 250,000 people have died. So what can we do to help? Did you realise that just £22.50 could feed a family of four for a week? The refugees need hygiene kits, toilet paper, soap and toothbrushes, things that we take for granted. So please donate to any charity trying to help the refugees. We are now going to get a second opinion on the refugee crisis. So here are Maddie and Zara again with Shella, someone who adopted a refugee to help. The Syrian refugees have experienced a severe case of poverty. They've lost family members, friends, food, property and everything else. Many of them will not get it back for generations and they will live in this crisis forever, staying in camps dotted in North Africa, Asia and Europe. What's your opinion on the refugee crisis? Um, I think it's quite shocking that so many people have been left without a home um, and they need somewhere to go um, and nobody's given it to them unfortunately. What's your opinion on the decision that the government has made towards the amount of people being let into the country? Um, I understand why the government made the decision they did, but I don't necessarily agree with it. Um, on the grounds that, you know, they are people, they do deserve somewhere to live, somewhere that's not um, squalor, basically. Yeah. Did you think it is fair how the refugees are being treated around the world? No, I don't think it's fair. You know, they're being shipped from one country to another. Um, nobody's really taking any responsibility. So I think somebody or a group of people need to make that decision and actually, you know, get together and try and think about a solution to this. Do you think that it is necessary that the refugees are being treated like luggage? No, it's not necessary because what's happening is they're not being treated like people and that's what we're forgetting is that they're people. If you had control on the UK government, would you allow refugees into the UK? Yes, I would. Um, on the grounds that, you know, we are a country, we do have um, money to support them, we would get some support with them as well. If, if I think if we acted in a way that would help them, I think other countries would do the same. Yeah. And to finish with... I would like to thank you for participating in this project. That's quite all right, thank you. Thank you. What's your opinion on the refugee crisis? It is a crisis that is affecting the whole world. It shouldn't just be seen as one country's problem. These are people who are very desperate and in fact are in need of a lot of aid, humanitarian aid, so charity work, but also government intervention. So I would say that it is probably one of the biggest issues currently in the world at the minute remains un unresolved. What is your opinion on the decision that the government has made towards the amount of people being let into the country? <sighs> the government are trying to limit the number of people coming into this country and as a consequence of that they're making the people who are refugees coming into the country seem like bad people and it's leading to bad press from the media. In, in my opinion I think they can do more to let more people in. So I would disagree with the government's policy to limit the number of people who are coming in, especially those who are with children, young children. Do you think it's fair how the refugees are being treated around the world? No, not at all. It seems strange that each country can have their own opinion on what they want to do with this. There needs to be a global consensus, so all the countries working together to decide on where the refugees should go, each taking an equal role in this and deciding what the best solution is. But the problem is that you can't just solve the refugee crisis by taking in refugees. It's, that's only a short-term fix. The long-term fix is stopping the, these wars that are carried out in places like Syria. So governments around the world try to actually get some peace negotiations in places like Syria. So these people do have a home to go back to. It's very easy to judge when we've got a home and a roof over our heads, but when, when people don't, how awful it must be for these people. Yeah. Do you think it is necessary that the refugees are being treated like luggage? I think it's appalling. I really dislike it. I have some friends who are working uh, in Germany and it's their job to, to find out 
the land that people are leaving behind. So if you were moving from Syria to Germany or Syria to the UK, you might have left home, you might have left home your, all your land you used to farming for maybe 10, 20 years, family generation. So my friend is trying to actually secure their rights to this land because people are being treated like luggage and everything they leave behind is just gone. I think it's outrageous. Yeah. If you had control of the UK government, would you allow more refugees into the UK? I would, absolutely. I would uh, I'd have to look at where the people would be settled. I think the UK is big enough to actually use some of this land to have some temporary accommodation of them. What I also object to is the detention centres. This is where refugees are sent to what almost equates to prisons when they come into the country and they're locked away for maybe one or two years. The detention centres had completely abolished those and I would allow more refugees to come to this country. And to finish with, I'd like to thank you for participating in this project. Very welcome.